at the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to achieve this. You just put a username and a password. Yeah, whatever. Click log in. Send you an error message because you're not logged in. So you registrate. Then if you try to log in, it'll notice that, whoa, you registered. So you can log in. Welcome. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make a functional login register app with the uh, Back for Apps Parse API. So first, uh, what you want to do is go to your main.storyboard in the apps directory. Uh, get this. Get two labels, one for the username and one for the password, so your user will know where to insert text. And now what I'm going to do is add two buttons, one for the login and one for the registration registry. Okay. And now add two text fields so the user can input text. Yeah, that's basically it. Now what you want to do is click these two circles so it will uh, pop up this other interface. And now you're going to, st uh, here is the view.h, viewcontroller.h. So what you want to do is add all the properties you have. So let's add the text, uh, the both of the text fields. So to do that, you just hold control, drag and drop. We'll call this username text and drag and drop this one which is the password text box we'll just call it text um, now what I want to do is click this so it'll change to the view controller dot m where the functions will be uh, just do the same here drag and drop the login it's called login and drag and drop the register let's call it register real creative <laughs> All right. Now, what you want to do is go to the click the link in the description so you can get to this GitHub uh, repository. Go to the viewcontroller.am in it. Okay. Now that we're inside. Let's borrow some code for from the Back for Apps doc documentations, and we'll start adding some code here. Oh, let's go back to the normal view so we'll have a bigger interface. Now I copied the alert function. I'm gonna paste it here so because uh, because we use the alert function inside this the login and register. Now what you wanna do is oh what you wanna do is copy everything that is inside the register function and put it inside the register function and do the same for the login function. Copy everything and paste it inside the login, your login function. Okay. No worries. That's basically it. Just build the app and it's ready to go. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to stay tuned for more back for uh, more tutorials on back for apps APIs for doing parse apps. Peace.